G'day, Big V. We are back with our seniors, champ men, here today. And we're going to talk about some of these youth league eligible players playing in a senior level competition. Now, Mark, to my right, give us a little spiel on uh, just this award that we have at the end of the year. Yeah, so it's a it's a little bit of a unique award, but it's trying to recognise um, some of the younger players in our competition who have advanced out of youth league early, uh, the Youth Player of the Year Award. Uh, last year's winner was Anthony Delorso from um, Hume, who then went on to play, uh, has gone on to play college. Yeah, has gone on to play college. Um, and some nominees last year were Abram Tong from Wyndham, who's yep. still with uh, playing with Wyndham. And Jay McKenzie from Campbell, who's still in the league with Campbell as well. So um, a good way to recognise some of the up-and-coming talent now, Big V. Thanks. Fantastic. Well, let's get stuck into it. We'll go through the list, some of the teams that have quite a few. Some of them have one or two. We'll get stuck into it. We'll go straight to McKinnon, who have Tom Carroll and Joe Labarski. Now, Tom Carroll's only played three games thus far this season. So whether that's due to injury... Or what not, not entirely sure because he was playing a little bit last year. Yeah, he was actually fantastic last year. He certainly was a matchup that uh, the Campbell boys struggled with uh, when I was coaching them. And to see him play three games at only 3.6 uh, points a game is a little bit surprising. I, I hope he bursts onto the scene for the back end of the year. Mm. But um, Joe Labarski has been a, in a pretty good find for McKinnon over there. Absolutely, yeah. Played all 13 of their games, averaging just shy of 20 minutes per game with the Almost nine points. He's doesn't seem like he's a great shooter, uh, only putting out the 14 attempts from three, but like he's getting it done in other areas. So he's averaging just over five rebounds per game. He's 1.3 assists. Like he's doing it. Yeah. Doing quite a bit. And he's had a few big games in there too, where he's sort of been dabbling, I reckon, almost nailed that 20 points a game. But, um, Let's move on to Hume, who they've just stacked their bench with some um, good young talent. They really are. Um, whilst their starters are all experienced and probably a little bit older, um, mm -hmm. their bench is, is really young. And that's there's none other to go past than Corey Fittis. Mm. A man who's still playing youth league and curious as to why he still is. <laughs> he's, uh, I mean, he's a he's, dominant player in this league in his own right, really. Yeah, averaging 12 and a half points in, um, in championship men would Probably indicate you're probably past youth league at this point, Corey. Yeah. Um, but he he's a really impressive player. I must admit, I did try and get him down to a certain club I was coaching at one point there, <laughs> and he said no. Disappointing. That's all right. Well, <laughs> Hayden McIntosh is there as well. He's played 12 of uh, their games. I believe they played 14. He's averaging you know just over 10 minutes per game. But a guy they're trying to develop through the ranks, same as. Elijah and Tay, two guys who are, you know, just getting their minutes here and there, chipping away, looking for that opportunity in the future. Yeah, I love seeing Hume um, looking to looking to encourage those guys to come through, and um, they're certainly capable players. Absolutely. Moving on to Wyndham, who we got? Emmanuel Deng and Aaron Dolny, and probably one we left out there is um, Oscar Jones, Kane Hines, like they. There's got a whole bunch of guys who can who can play. They really do, yeah. The stars of the show will be Emmanuel Deng, though, who's a, who plays a significant role in this men's team, and Aaron Dolny, um, well, who, who's a sharp shooter as well. Yeah, absolutely. Dolny's shooting at a pretty pretty good clip, 32% off his 50-out attempts. And Emmanuel Deng, a little bit less of a shooter, but you know he adds versatility everywhere else on the floor. Yeah, great length and great defender, um, Deng. So... Um, some good talent coming through down at Wyndham, and it's good to see them play significant roles within their team. Yeah, absolutely, especially all these other guys coming through too. Yeah. And then we move on to Campbell, which a uh, guy we mentioned a little bit earlier, um, in Jay McKenzie. Yeah, absolutely. He played all 12 or 12 of his 12 games that he's played. He started in every one of them. He's averaging just under four, uh, 14 points per game, close to a double-double with his 8.6 rebounds. He's an insane athlete. He's probably one of those guys who's potentially going to look to, to shift up into that NBL1 division later in his career. but I, hope, doing, I certainly hope not, Ted. We don't want to lose him. Well, he's, doing the, he's doing the right thing here. He's getting getting pieces done. He's playing against all these massive units in the league, and he's holding his own. Yeah, he's an athletic floor man. He's got a little bit of a nice mid-range. Um, probably needs to work on stretching the floor a little bit, but a really, um, really good defender and just alters so many shots. Yeah, absolutely. Keysborough now have got... Two young guys who have come off a of youth league to 
men's championship last year and have decided they're going to come and play seniors and they're holding their own extremely well with Kelsey Espert and Dylan Moore. Yeah, two more than capable players, um, particularly Dylan Moore is one who stood out for me. Um, every five points in, in about 11 minutes, he's, but he's showing that he's certainly capable at this level. Mm. Um, you know, as his, as his role continues to grow and as he continues to build confidence playing this league, um, I see no issues. I mean, he shoots the ball, shoots the ball really well at 44% from the three point line, which for a tall, tall guy, um, is a huge advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Kelsey Esper as well is a great athlete. A guy that could probably put a little bit more size on because he probably doesn't have that same height, but he's got like the athleticism that he can play above the rim. Yeah, decent, decent defender as well. He goes out there and um, causes a little bit of a ruckus on defense. Um, and we'll go on to, finally, um, Western Port. Yeah, Liam Ingram, their new signing for the year, played 11 games, averaging just shy of eight points per game in his 18 minutes. A guy who can who can really do a lot. He brings great energy and aggressiveness to the floor. A guy who can spread and shoot the ball. He can rebound. He can push the pace. He's a pretty good defender. I think he'll do really good in this team, especially since he's, you know, only, I believe he's only 21 years old. Yeah, he's um, averaging seven and a half points a game. He's just he's shown a really good spark for, with all due respect to Western Port, probably an older lineup they've yeah. got and they've been running with. But um, Liam Ingram gives them that youth coming off um, the bench, and I think he's actually been a really nice piece that they've added to their um, their program. Yeah, absolutely. Look, that's all we have for today. We'll catch you guys very soon.